Hey everyone, so I am in my bathtub and I thought it would be fun to do a little uh, skincare routine video for everyone while I'm taking a bath. Um, hey everyone, so I am in the bathtub, clearly I'm taking a bath, I had a super frustrating day today. Hey everyone, so I'm in the bath and I'm just trying to wind down from the day I've been having and I thought it would be fun to shoot so sort of like a skincare related type video while I'm, while I'm in the bathtub and I'm going to be doing those things anyway. So I'm just going to kind of talk about my favorite products and what I use on a regular basis, pretty informally. So, since I'm in the bathtub, I'm going to talk about how I bathe and how I, um, what kind of, what my routine is in the shower, in the bathtub. I, so as I said in previous videos, I suffer from some pretty not awesome back acne uh, pimples. I don't know if you can really see them right now, but... And they might not be that bad right now, I don't always look at them, but it, it sucks, so I've been trying to sort of remedy that. I, I've, been, I've been dealing with this for a long time, and the only thing I've really found that works decently is um, tea tree oil. And I either do um, the Dr. Bronner's uh, tea tree oil soap. Uh, which is super great. I love like all the Dr. Bronner's products, but I especially love the tea tree oil one just because it works the best on my back. I also use the rose one um, just because I really like the scent of it. You know, if I'm going to do like anything that even resembles a body wash, I'm going to use Dr. Bronner's. And this has been really good. Um, and if I don't have this, Sometimes I'll just use regular bar soap and a combination of actual tea tree oil. And tea tree oil, like pure tea tree oil is really strong and you need to dilute it. But since you're in the shower, you know, you just you need a little bit with some soap. And then I put it on one of these um, like loofah type sponge things. And I just like scrub the shit out of my body. And these are super cheap and you can get them anywhere. You can get them at Target. You can get them... At Ulta, you can really just find them wherever they sell bath products. So let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of tea tree oil on the loofah and kind of show you what's going on. Here we go. It's also like a fun adventure trying to uh, stay covered while I do a video in the bathtub. So normally I'll just scrub my back. I really like to focus on my shoulders and my chest area and my back. And you really don't need a lot of soap. I feel like I always have a heavy hand when it comes to the soap situation because I'm just kind of like pouring it and not really paying attention. So I've successfully done my back. I'm going to do my arms as well. And then since I'm in the bathtub I'm just going to go ahead and rinse off by dipping down. I'll also do my legs. Now, I know baths aren't the cleanest environment to, you know, clean yourself, but I really enjoy taking a bath every once in a while and sort of don't care that I'm swimming in my own filth because I don't think I'm that gross. I, mean, I don't think people should think that they are gross. Oh, I think I missed some. <laughs> Ring this out.
make sure all the soap is out of it. So now that I've cleaned most of my, or shown you how I clean most of my body, we can move on to my face. Last year I had a lot of trouble with dry skin and I didn't really know how to fix it. I had like these dry patches all over my face and I just couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. I was like exfoliating, but I was using kind of like the soaps that are exfoliating soaps, like a, an apricot scrub or any sort of scrub. And I realized that I really don't think that those work because you're not really evil, evenly exfoliating your face. You're kind of just like wherever they're dispersed is where you're exfoliating and it's sort of not like you can't control it as well and I know a lot of people like to use the Clarisonic um, like sp those things with the spinning heads that look like a giant toothbrush for your face and I've used those and those are nice um, but it, they're obviously very expensive and I would rather spend my money elsewhere so I ended up figuring out that my best option is a cognac sponge which I'm going to retrieve for you So, here I have a cognac sponge, they're basically, this one's like wet, so it's going to look a little bit different than what you would buy them looking like, but they're basically just these little dinky sponges that get big, and you can get them at, Sephora is where I get mine, I don't know if there's somewhere else that is better or has more, like I know, um, I know Sephora brand sells them and I know that other like um, skincare brands sell them as well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. But I'm going to use the cognac sponge, which is what I do almost every night if I do wash my face. And then I'm going to use just a really gentle cleanser and the cleanser that I like to use is the Kiehl's. The Kiehl's uh, Ultra Facial Cleanser, and it's just super gentle, and it's for like all skin types, and I just like it the best out of sort of all the cleansers that I've tried. So I just use a tiny, tiny bit, and I work it all into my face. Your face like should be wet before you do this. And it'll kind of build up a little bit of a lather, but it won't be that much. And since I didn't wear makeup today, I'm not going to do like a strenuous beauty routine. Like if I had worn makeup today, I would have, um, I would have taken off my makeup first with a coconut oil. So I just go and work it through my skin super well. And kind of just like make sure I'm getting everything and then I kind of put the sponge back in some water and I'll kind of work it again and then you're basically done with that going to use that sponge thingy and then I'm just going to rub some water on my face. So that, so now my skin is clean. Then the rest of the steps that I want to show you, I will have to do out of the tub. I'll show you in one second. Okay, so I'm out of the tub and in my really cool robe. And I'm going to kind of finish up what I was talking about and finish my skincare routine. Just kind of a broken skincare routine because I don't actually have my regular moisturizer with me. 
So the next thing I do, and I don't always do this, but I'm going to do it right now, is I use a toner. This is not my toner, it is my roommate's toner, but it is essentially the same toner that I have. This is the Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera toner. And you can, I know you can get this at Whole Foods. I don't know where else you can get it, but I'm pretty sure it's widely found. And I'm just gonna grab a cotton ball, put a, squirt a little bit of toner into, that was way too much toner, into my cotton ball. So now I have this cotton ball, I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm just gonna rub my face with the toner. I don't always remember to do this, but it does feel really good and it's kind of nice to like, or satisfying to see kind of the dirt that comes off after you use it on the cotton ball. Also a little terrifying because I thought I washed all of that off. And I always rub it behind my ears when I'm done, but that's not a thing that people do. I just like to do it. So then I'm done toning, and normally now is when I would go in with a facial moisturizer. And the facial moisturizer that I like to use is the Origins uh, Daily Nightmint Moisturizer, but I do not have that right now. I just ran out. So I'm going to use um, this moisturizer that is in my bathroom, um, and it's the, oh, it's just a Trader Joe's moisturizer, so I'm just going to use that. I'm not like, I like the one that I have, but I usually do that one before bed, and it's not even time for bed yet. I just know I'm not going to go out or put any more makeup on or do anything today, because I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do now is eat ice cream in bed alone and watch Gilmore Girls. So... I'm just using this Trader Joe's moisturizer. You can really use anything, um, unless you have something that, you know, really works for you. But the Origins one is great. I'll, I've talked about it in past videos before. I just haven't had a chance to go um, to the mall and pick it up. So, this is where I'm at. You could also use coconut oil. I don't really use coconut oil on my face, other than to remove my makeup, but I don't really use it as a moisturizer on my face, but I do use it as a moisturizer on the rest of my skin. And I'm going to pull out my big tub of coconut oil. This is literally the only thing I care about. I think I could get rid of most other things and be fine, but this is crucial to my life. And when I travel, I get really bummed out because I can't take this giant tub of coconut oil with me. And I don't really know like if they make travel size coconut oils. And I feel like I've actually talked about this before. Maybe not in a video, but definitely just in life because coconut oil is really important. Um, I use it to remove my makeup, like I said, but I also use it as a skin moisturizer for my body. So usually what I'll do is take a little bit. I actually took a lot and it'll melt if you've never used coconut oil before. It changes its consistency and so it'll melt if like if it's hot um, depending on the temperature and it'll harden if it's cold. I'm going to zoom you down so you can see me rubbing it on my legs. Um, so I'm just rubbing coconut oil all over my legs. Really exciting stuff. And I'm going to rub it on the rest of my body, but it basically is just oil. Um, I know other people use different types of oil. You can use olive oil, you can use, um, I was using avocado oil for a minute. You can really use whatever you want. I just love the way it smells, like the unrefined uh, virgin coconut oil just smells great. It smells like coconuts, obviously, and it just, I think it's the best and, like, cheapest way to moisturize because 
Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like those really thick moisturizers. I have one that I bought from Kiehl's and it was honestly like $40. And I love it. Like I think it smells really great and it's it's really nice and it really does moisturize and like sink into my skin really well. But it's so expensive for something I know I'm going to run out of and I just hate buying expensive things and then feeling like I can barely use them because they're expensive and I'm, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so... Alright, I think I've successfully worked that oil into my skin. So that's basically my skincare regimen for the most part. Um, it's very simple. I think the least, the less amount of work that you have to do, the better it's going to be. Anyway, this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions on what you think would be good. I think my skin's been pretty well behaved. I get the occasional pimple or two on my face, but other than that, it seems to be under control, so I just thought I would share. Alright, bye.